Hey everybody, J.K. Calloway here at Real J.K. Calloway, coming at you with the results for this week's hashtag skirmish game, Jazz Hands. <laughs> uh. This week we played hashtag future political party names, because days are changing, obviously. There's new ones cropping up. We all know they're going to rebrand sooner than later, so hmm, here's what they're going to rebrand into. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the video, and of course, if you want to play along next week, we play every single Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Hashtag skirmish, find it on Twitter, give it a follow, and have a good time. Now let's get on to this week's game, our top ten for this week's hashtag skirmish game. Hashtag future political party names. Number 10 comes from at Lob337, the Meh Party. Pretty sure that's actually the Green Party. Number 9 comes from at Curte Toros 83 do as we say, not as we do party. That would be some serious truth in advertising. <laughs> this is literally every party ever created. So yeah, that'd be refreshing if someone's just like, just, just shut up and listen. Just do this. Number eight comes from at Did You See That One? The Safe Space Party. I'd like to say this is more Democrat, but it's it's both. It's both. I mean, let's be real. Is there any more safe space than Fox News? I mean, on one side you've got the party that doesn't want to hear anything, and on the other side you've got the party that only wants to hear certain things. So. Make sure you vote in November. <laughs> Number seven comes from at K Michael 101. Kanye Publicans. Make sure you go out and vote, fam. Ah! Uh, is that what he does? Is that his shtick? Number six comes from at Tot S M. Tide Pod Survivors. I mean, that's 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 the Libertarian Party. Anything for a buzz, man. Number five comes from at Feminist Rocks. Sheet Cake Party. At a certain point, why don't all the comedians get together and make a party? Because number one, at least we'll be entertained. And number two, usually their ideas are pretty good. <laughs> Remember those shirts that said like Stuart Colbert 2012, I think it was? Like, that's not a bad idea. Number four comes from at Book Girl 8. The Parents Basement Party. Free video games for all. These are those trolls on Twitter that try to convince you that conservative is the new punk rock. Forgetting that most punk rock sucks. <laughs> Number three comes from at French and Need 4. The Tupperware Party. They keep a tight lid on everything. I think we all want more transparency and our leaders, but at the same time, some shit we shouldn't know. <laughs> like, it's amazing how much stuff is coming out of this White House. Just leakers, leakers everywhere. And never good news. No, it's always like Trump is in the bathroom vigorously masturbating to the thought of the wall and screaming out Mike Pence's name while he does it. Like, we don't need to know that. Number two comes from an Okie Girl. Thoughts and Prayers Party. That's all we're ever going to get. They will always be very sorry for your loss, but they will never ever try to prevent your loss. <laughs> money, 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 money. Now before we get to our number one, here are a few honorable mentions, including one from the host at Real JK Calloway, one from me, Deplorabullies. I know they try to spin it and act like they're the victims of something because they do something racist and then someone calls them a racist. No, that's just observing your behavior and your speech and putting two and two together. One from it, Kristen RN202. Retweet click party. Oh, they exist. Those people that get all the, the retweets and the likes during hashtag games, it's because there's a secret DM group where they all decide they're going to retweet each other. No. 
some people are more consistently funny. So they get more love. Mine are all over the frickin' place. I remember I had a tweet the other night that got zero and zero. And when I sent it, I was like, that's a good tweet. That's gonna kill. Crickets. And then later in the day, I sent out like a random Adam Sandler bashing tweet, like just joking, not thinking much of it. And it got like 500 likes and 200 retweets. And so they're like, really? That's, that's, that's a good one. Cause that wasn't a good one. Number one, be funny. Number two, interact with people. And oh my goodness, all of a sudden you're gonna start getting retweets. But really, the first one's big. Get funny. It's a step you seem to be missing when you bitch about retweeting plays. One from Ed Kesha Tenor. Pity party. At this point, that's the Democratic Party. You couldn't beat Trump. I don't care who helped him. I don't care if he cheated. It doesn't matter. You could find some people who inspire. Whether you liked Obama or not, dude inspired some people. And whether you like him or not, Trump inspired people. So both sides, mostly Democrats, mind you, need to start finding some inspirational son of a bitches. Because right now, your, your pot is empty, my friend. You need to start finding some people. One from a Jeff Sarcastic. Totally our bad last time party. That's literally what I've been waiting for out of the Democrats. Be like, you know what? We fucked up. <laughs> Number one, we did game the system and made sure Hillary won over Bernie. We made sure Hillary was the thing that went through. And you can argue all day if Bernie would have beat Trump. I don't know. I think Trump still would have cheated, so we'll see, but that's not the point. You still fucked up, and no one has owned up to that. No one. Remember at the end of Bush's term, second term, uh, the Republicans were on an apology tour? Just be like, but yeah, we, you know what? That, that's our, that's my bad, okay? We, we pushed this former cokehead who doesn't know shit. That's our bad. Uh, now we've got McCain, he knows stuff, and we're gonna put Sarah Palin with him. How did Obama win? <laughs> and one from it, Charlie underscore CK14, the Porta Party. The Porta Party. The Porta Party. The Porta Party. That's hard to say. This one, from what I can tell, is the Tories over in England. Just shit. <laughs> And our number one for this week's hashtag skirmish game comes from at Are You Mad Bro? The Socially Liberal Financially Conservative Party. I know you guys are just gonna say that's libertarian, but have you looked at libertarian lately? <laughs> when everyone you got in the Libertarian Party is a former Republican, then you're not libertarian. But yeah, if this party were ever to come along, it would be the party. I think that this is where most people lie. They want gay marriage and they want LGBT rights and they want equal pay for women. But they also don't want us to waste our fucking money on stupid shit like a military parade for the president and a wall that'll stop nothing. People need to step up. It's that simple. I know there's a 1% up there and people want to think there's like an Illuminati and stuff. There's really not. Regular people need to rise up. Look what happened with the damn tea party. That was like legit just normal ass people that didn't know shit mind you but they rallied together and they made something happen and you know the black guy became president i mean that might have been a catalyst i don't know but yeah people need to step up man if you want change make change happen it's that simple or just rely on rich people to make the decisions for everyone in the country for the rest of our lives Yay. Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure you do hit subscribe. Should be right around here. Check out my latest video. It'll be over there. Find me on other social media sites. Always real JK Calloway. Give a follow to my personal hashtag game on Twitter. It's at hashtag skirmish. And check out the hashtag roundup app. All the best weekly hashtag games, including mine. My name's JK Calloway, and we'll talk to you next time.